Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 49, first round match between Krupi and his Chaos Dwarves and Eliod and his Vampire team. And when I say Vampire team, I really mean Vampire team. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello! Hello everybody, this is a rough one for Eliod, but with Chaining a Wizard, is uh, always chances. The question here is, the, would the, you know, the Claw Palm work? Or not. That's more or less half the game for the Chorus. Yeah. Krippy's team, the rest of the team isn't that good, I guess, right? The, the two bulls aren't that good. I mean, this one's pretty decent. This one is, you know, only two skill. He's got a full claw palm. But the rest of the Chorus aren't that good, so... But obviously, Elliot's team is pretty terrible. He only had 11 men. Cheney makes it 12. Um, and only three vampires, but one is completely and utterly amazing. <laughs> so yes, it's yes. going to come down to this one vampire mostly, I guess. He's better than uh, Von Drakenborg. Yes, yeah, he is. Way better. Way better than Von Drakenborg. Yeah. I mean, apart from having Bloodlust, obviously. Um, and yeah, Chain, Chaney's better, than, yeah, as, as, as Fimea said on the Twitch before we started, you know, Chaney's better than most vampires, like, so yeah, having Chaney here is pretty great. Wow, going for the Dodger. I'm four dice, wrestle can work. Hmm. But he's not fouling him, is he, so... Yeah, that's... Now he might get fouled, now he might get Cheney fouled. That was a bit, that was a decision. Um, well, at least he doesn't have to, you know, do roll any blue last or anything. Yeah. And he had I mean, claw, no, Cheney, right? Cheney is going to get fouled. Uh, yes, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah, it does seem a bit high rolling in the game, but I guess he's got to try and high roll, right? You know, Elliot is a very good at the Blood Balls, and I guess he's identified this as a pretty, pretty horrendous matchup and feels like he's got to get lucky to win, so, so you know, you should try that as early as possible, I guess. If he takes out that uh, bull, Lucas' team is in a big, big problem because that bull is the one with tackle. Yeah. I mean, yeah, all Choros have tackle, but they can barely move. Yeah, and they're strength three, so it's pretty hard. <laughs> <Strength three. laughs> it's pretty hard for them to hit this strength five guy. <laughs> and he gets away with it so far. Um, hello, Kelsey. Uh, that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> I mean, true, obviously. <laughs> but still nice. <laughs> and there is the bloodlust of the first vampire reactivates. Classic dice. Oh, but this is uh, oh, th that would have made a hit on the ball, wouldn't it? Instantly. Yes, I was thinking that that it was a Krupi in his obsession for the foul. For all that you know, there is vampires with hypnotic gaze. Yeah. Yeah. Now the now the strength five can just go straight in, and he's gonna he's uh, gonna go straight. Go. He's in. going for it. He's strength going for five. it. Yeah, straight in with a strength five. Wow. I mean, this is really exposing him, isn't it? This is... This is ballsy. Double GFI. Next to a dirty player. And lots of people who could hit him. That's the knockdown. Oh, terrible uh, scatter. If the scatter would have gone, you know, towards the back, that was really good. Mm. Wow, this is this is balls to the wall by Elliot. Which you know, it's, again, it's fair enough, right? It's not a criticism; it's just an observation. Yes, because he only is, has eleven men. Yeah. He's guaranteed to lose some of them because of the blood lust. That's that's that's, that's maths. Yeah. And the claw bomb. <laughs> and the claw bomb. I mean, who has Krupi? Oh, I mean, now obviously will target the the super vamp. Yeah. But the thralls are the actual target. Yeah. He's not going to up on them. They are armor seven, and if you get rid of them, the bombs. Oh! The classic mistake of running ones. Wow. Well, I mean, he could have also just hit this strength five vampire first, right? He had three, four, five, six for two guards in yes. there. He had the two D on the vampire first. That's probably what he should have done first. I mean, when I say probably what he should have done first, definitely what he should have done first. <laughs> Also, how his position, and you know, the side step, it wasn't a danger. 
Yeah. Yeah, you could have blocked off the sidestepping easily. Wow. And now, the, and now, <laughs> you're in screams. Wow. That, yeah, that is, yeah, this is clever, isn't it, from Elliot? He doesn't need to, doesn't need to clear the tackle zone off the ball because he's had five. He just needed to clear the tackler. No, Zaz, obviously him for, like, Jesus Christ, man. You've, you've got to stop the sidestepping square to get two dice on him anyway, so you definitely hit him first. <laughs> the sidestep wasn't an issue. He had to put in so many men to assist him that he had to cover the side, the sidestep squares even by accident. <laughs> so you absolutely 100% hit the vampire first. Yes, yes, I mean... Uh... And it's his only player. It's his literal only player as well. Like... I mean, okay, Cheney. Cheney's decent, but like, look yes, at this. Cheney's had you three. Look at this guy, look at this guy. You three, fucking four, hit you him know. first. You, uh, you like a million percent. Uh, you know, to go like Daedal here, you a million percent hit this guy first. Like, a hundred isn't enough for how much you'd hit this guy first. So that that was not, a big not, mistake. I mean, I You hit him before the turn sign uh, disappears from the screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolute instinct. Oh. Can this guy reach him for a wonder? Yeah, he can. So it's not over yet, maybe. Oh, what? He didn't! <laughs> Why didn't he? Why didn't he hit the ball? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't know, maybe he's counting on the blue last of the ball carrier or. <sighs> okay, well. Yeah. I mean, that. Force 100% uh, Elliot to score without the risk, you know, running uh, more dice. Yeah, but I mean, but he was good enough. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it I was think a choice. Have, he should have definitely tried to hit the ball there. He might have had a double dodge, but he's got to try, right? He's, he's, even if it's a double dodge, he has to try. Um, he didn't. He didn't GFI. He didn't dodge, did he? No. No, no, he oh, is he move in, bust? Uh... Is he move bust? Could he not reach? I'm sure he could have reached. That's weird. So yeah, not not Krippy's finest hour so far. Um, but you know he is good at the blood balls, so you know I'm sure he'll he'll play better than he has done so far in the first four turns that may have lost him the match. <laughs> I mean, he still can del delete. Uh... He can, yeah, he can delete him. Let him. Yeah, one, if one and a half times. You know, if these hits work well. Yeah. One, one and a half time, and then two, two after a full time, and then winning all the time. It's probably how, he, like, it's how he's going to win this, right? But with lots of killing. But it, he needs to do a lot of killing. And this could be it. And really, the lots of killing is only to get to the strength five guy. <laughs> because everyone else, everybody else in the match is largely irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> of course, going for a four turn score with Chorfs isn't easy. And that might leave him open to the wizard and stuff. This is great, isn't it? Elio can just leave this guy blitzable because he can't even he can't even get two dice on him. <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, he can, he goes with the bull, but the bull doesn't have a tackle, the one yeah. that is close to him, so he's yeah. like, okay, bring, bring me the bull. Yeah.
Maybe taking the side, the squeak is a... Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I guess it means that you can get a bit more out here to, like, you know, stop the vampire attack on the cage, but I still think, it, yeah, obviously better to keep him in the central, right? I mean, I guess he's got so few players, it's... He thinks it's better protecting the ball and leaving him more limited down the side, but... I, mean, I think he probably should have tried to stay central if he could. At least a bit more central. Having a strength five sidestepper holding the edge is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's still in some degree of danger because the chops have a lot of uh, guard, but yeah. also he has regen, he has the apples, so yeah, he's uh, hitting that piece right now. I, unless, I mean, you need it to score, you know, he did to score, it would have been a mistake. Wow. He's uh... he's going for the throws. Yeah, but he it's, really it's turn already. seven. <laughs> yes. How's he scoring? Potato? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, this is great. This is a bit crazy. I mean, it's terrible. Krupi, this is not Krupi's finest hour so far. <laughs> and that's being very polite. He's playing trash. And that, that, that's not even being mean because, you know, for some people, this would be them playing all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. yes. <laughs> like, this is this is really bad from Krupi. Really bad. He is better than this, for sure. Well, if this was Chaos AD, I'd be saying he was playing the game of his life. This is the best I've ever seen him play. <laughs> now he's trying to... <laughs> Only joking. Yeah, he'd gone for the double dodge. Well, triple dodge through. And now Elliot has an... Uh... Really easy, and if not, he works, and now he has the tackler there. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, imagine if he quadded. <laughs> but yeah, he just needed the push even, didn't he? Even the push was enough to take him out of range. Like, all like all he needed was anything but quads. Um, hello, Ducky, unbelievable. Yeah, I didn't know Elio was ill. I, yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, well, I didn't catch it live because, um, because of the reschedule, which I didn't realise was... Uh, not happening so yeah it's sad to sad to hear Elio Till. Oh now he gets to hit this vampire though. Which is you have really to. nice. Oh and here's the foul as well. No, you need more assists. Oh, I guess you can't. One, yeah, I guess you can't. I didn't see this throw. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you need max assists. <laughs> Kick his face off. <laughs> oh, nothing. Tragedy. Now, uh, now he gets to yeah, he gets to claw the claw palm. He apps that. This is this is bad from Creepy as well, right? Like this guy just didn't do anything. Yeah, you could have yeah, moved him. Yeah, screened screened off his claw palm. I mean, you can't just leave your claw palm and get clawed. This is this is really bad. I think that Krupi could be feeling a little angry here. Yeah, I think maybe he's tilted off the face of the planet. Well, I guess you just try to quick score now as Elliot go 2 0 up, and then it's very hard for him to beat you in normal time, isn't it? Yeah. Also, the clock is ticking uh, before his players start to disappear. I mean, yeah, amazing that he has really, it. really, really, really lucky. Yeah, incredible to get the second half with eleven. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've played a little bit of Vampire talking about and... the bad plays from Krupi. Here you can see, you know, where are the bulls? There are vampires. There is a frenzy piece. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he didn't think that through, did he? <laughs> yeah, he didn't think that through. Do 
du corps à corps. Je sens que ça va me plaire. Oh my god, if this works. Doesn't. Now it's oh, hard. It doesn't isn't. work. Now it's much harder now. It's time to abandon the idea. Yeah. Yeah, but if that one had worked, he could have come in, done this one, and then <laughs> see yep. you later, but. Yeah, yeah, he could have, you know, gaze it around, and there you go. Mm. In Liz we trust. <laughs> that's that's pretty good, Kale to do. <laughs> that is pretty good. I don't know, Corp actually like he he did a decent like he did he left that he left the back door open in the first half like you know in the early to get that foul, but that was okay because there was no recovery for Elliot and it, it exposed the strength five vampire. And then he he did go hemmed in on that half, but then that was to like get more protection in the case, so that seemed okay. Oh wow, that's a Frenzy trap for Eliod. Zero flips given for Eliod. Looked like he was going to blitz this guy as well, didn't it? With these two in there, maybe he could have blitzed him and then dodged away. But I guess if he doesn't want to do the three plus dodge out. The classic three plus dodge out. And to be fair, the claw bomb is a great target, isn't it? Yep. If you're going to get him, there's, you know, a lot of peace of mind. Mm. But as it is, this is another big stomp on Cheney. Hasn't had much luck with the fouls, has he, Krupi, to be fair? That's, uh, you know, we've seen many, many games where the first foul is just an instant Kaz. And if that had happened uh, in the first half, that wouldn't have been different. Wouldn't have made any odds. But it might be a big thing now. No. I use wrestling. Yeah, exactly, kills it. Yeah, yeah, that that is the thing with vampires. Same with Kislev to an extent as well. People, people just don't. Yeah, yeah, he would just he would just ended up in his face. Yeah. It's the same thing with Kislev and like Slan, whatever. You know, if you don't play them that much, they're a bit different. And yeah, you don't play not many people. You don't play against them that much. And certainly not good coaches. Yeah. So there there is certainly an element of that with vampires and Slan, Kislev. Whatever you want to call them. Right, strength five vamp has. Strength five vamp has the ball. Elliot has a wizard. Top player with the ball. No oh god, he's a 1 in 81 there though. Oh. <laughs> he hasn't got much else. <laughs> and he has got a big, massive gap between him and the rest of his team. That's completely dominated and about to get banged down. So yeah, this is this is not looking good for Elliot. Well, Krupy is not blitzing with claw pump because he wants the surf, which is which is quite reasonable, I guess. Like guaranteed removal is fine, isn't it? Yeah. Stops him DP fouling. It, like it stops a claw on blitz and DP fouling Cheney though, so I'm not sure it was worth it to surf a claw. But you know, it's not. On the face of it, it's not horrifically bad, is it? I mean, he's thrusting in the in the blocks. Also, now he can open a space where he can, you know, at least uh, move some pieces down, yeah, put some pressure on the. Strength five. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for a guaranteed removal. To be fair, like it's not, it's not a scathing criticism. Not like, not like the rest of his play. <laughs> oh, he's let he's let Cheney out. Interesting. I thought he would have moved the ball to here to stop Cheney getting out. He's let he's, who let the Cheney out? <laughs> we need to get Elliot to say who let Cheney out, <laughs> and then we can record him, and then play this afterwards. I was writing it at the same time you were writing it. <laughs> oh, good on you. Oh god, I love exclamation point move. He didn't even try and dodge him out yet. I mean, he did a different dodge first, didn't he? Four plus dodge. Um, I feel like he, he had to get this dodge. 
Because then he's got the he's got the like pass play right. It stops him getting fouled. He could have run away from the claw palm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. the play yes because uh, Tini has cut. Yeah, yeah, and he's actually a pretty good scoring threat then. But yeah, he's in trouble now, isn't he? Elliot? He's in a lot of trouble. This is like turned into like a, a half dacker kind of thing, isn't it? Like Dimmy's game. Maybe he's been inspired by Dimmy's tactics, and he wants to he wants to that's, replicate the champ. That's saying a lot. <laughs> still just and a stunt. still Cheney eating the food like a champ. Yeah. I mean, he uh, groupie has been really, really unfortunate when it came to cast. Yeah, it's funny. It's just one of them things. That's that's one of the shit things about Blood Bowl, right? You can you can you can watch a game and like somebody makes four four fouls and makes four removals, and then you can watch another game and someone makes four fouls and no removals, and it's just it's so dicey, isn't it? I like this from Elliot. I think this was the obvious play to make. Uh, well, the obviously good play to make. <laughs> Maybe not obvious to everybody, but uh, yeah, this is, this is good from Elliot. I think I would have followed that. Oh no, I would have followed that. But I guess he wanted to protect against the uh, the break tackle in. But I mean, it'd be uphill anyway. Wouldn't it? I, think I would have definitely followed that. Not getting much value off his claw palm, is he? He's, he's barely hit no. vampires with him. Hasn't piled on. Because like you don't want to pile on trolls, right? You you want to you want to use him to nail vampires. No. He's not been able to. Well, he has, but he's de declined to. But yeah, I like going this way. Like, not only because it was the easier way to go anyway, but still, it's still nice that it's leaving Cheney over there because it means if he wants to gang foul him, he's got the like really good position to, to get a foul in. And if he doesn't foul him, then you've got him as an outlet. You haven't been great, Kales D, but it's more noticeable how bad his play has been. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So Elliot using the whiz to turn the corner and get ahead of both bulls. That is one yes. thing with, with bulls, you don't want your bulls touching. Um, it's like mummies, you don't like them uh, being close to each other. Yeah, yeah, so, so being able to get away from both of them, get out in front as well. Oh! Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah, he, he that got was, to roll that. Yeah, I think that was just a necessary. I don't think that was a really a wizard you can like or dislike. It was just 100% necessary, wasn't it? <laughs> Seeing as the position, the completely insecure position he's got, in after using it, if he hadn't used it, he'd have been proper screwed. He does the up on the URSL uh, throw because if this goes to overtime, he's going to need a some throws and pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In stark contrast to Dimi in in his match, the yep, the apple yeah. comes out first chance he gets. Ah, so Elliot has, has two babes? Yep. So, yeah, that uh, he can afford uh, the chaos all day long. Yep. Well known babe magnet is Elliot. <laughs> and yeah, this is just a break tackle in, isn't it? This is like, this is really insecure from Elliot. I'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. And here comes a break tackle and Go gets in. Them, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sick side steps but available, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, he catches him! <laughs> oh my god! Oof. <laughs> he catches it on a fly. Cheney goes to his stand, natural state. Yeah! Yeah, Cheney's been half the game stunned. I mean, he's been uh, keeping busy in average three, four pieces per turn. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's done all right. Oh, we needed the power there, didn't he, really? Yeah. I wonder if he should have re-rolled that. Oh, face the blood last. Oh, he gazes and bites, you know. Yeah, that's, 
That's reasonable after using the reroll. Has he used the reroll? No, he hasn't used the reroll. Maybe he should have. Nah. Yeah, maybe he had to do that. Yeah. I mean, this is rubbish, though, isn't it? Because again, he's just getting nailed. <laughs> Oh, he didn't. He didn't recover him. Oh, he, wait. What? Oh, he's not the strength five one. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, he's only got one assist, but of course he's just a strength four oh, vampire. No, oh my god, he caught it. <laughs> he's caught it on a five. Oh god. And a stun. Cheney's too far away. Broccoli. <laughs> Ah, uh, Cheney isn't too far away, but it's totally screwed. Can run Cheney back though now for next turn. Wow, what terrible, terrible fouls. He's made about six fouls and got six stuns and a send off. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, he's not going for the kills. No, no, it's foolish, foolish play not going for the kills. Yeah, get him back. Maybe just don't assist there, yeah. Like, the obvious thing is to assist there for a 2D, but stand firm makes you not want to do it, doesn't it? Oh! Yeah, he's, he had to do that, didn't he? Because he had to clear the path for the strength for me. Oh, he rolled a 1, though. Oh, my God, diced. Diced, poor Elliot. Alas, poor Elliot. I knew him well. And now, time 15. He's not going here. What? Why didn't he blitz this guy and come through? Also, that the square makes the surf option very easy. Yeah. I just can tag him though, can he? But yeah, that's that's really bad. Really bad to put him there. Really bad to just not go through here. Like, he could have blitzed this guy and gone through. What the hell, man? Or like, blocked this guy and gone through. How do you not go through this way? I just don't understand why you don't go through this way. And why has he gone there and he hasn't even... Now he okay, needs now to lock down. Okay, so now it's okay once you go through him, yeah. So that's good having three on it. <laughs> and now a Chorfa gets it. Can <laughs> kind a of vampire. Can this vampire get there? One, two. Three. Okay, here we come. This is the turn. Yeah, so you, you, could, you could come through and gaze him to make it a three plus chain. Yeah, and he's moved him to the bloodlust. Clever Elliot. Here comes the blue dust. It works, so now. Okay, get ready, Jim. This is the play. This is the play. Let's go. Push. Wrestle. Yes, the question is that reroll with a loner on the scout. I mean, yeah, I, I re-roll that. We'll try to, because he's got no other scoring threats. I thought that was an obvious re-roll, to be honest. Because you just lose, I right? More less, I more or less also agree, but I can see the point of people uh, thinking, you know, it's your last re-roll, 50% yeah. of not working, and then you have to get uh, a decent result. Is this guy in range? Oh, is this, is this guy in range? He could, uh, there is a chain. Oh. Is there? No. No. No, he just did it. He just did it because it was the last turn. So, no, there was no one else in range. Yeah, I think you have to reroll it. But, yeah, I, could, a... I guess I could see people thinking, oh my god, <laughs> when he did it. Yeah, I could see, I could, I could imagine the reactions. But I, I think, think, yes, I think there, is a, there, there was a chain over the Dorian or that in the game. I think he could have pushed the bump mm. to the other uh, corner and then make another cage. And get the uh, one score of movement from that for that uh, oh. 
But yeah, that 50% loner uh, last roll of, of the game time 16 is, I think, is kind of thing that people, you know, could be, you know, one way or the other. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess I could see people, uh, yeah, I could see, I could see people losing their minds when he did it. But, uh, it's really rowdy. Yeah. And look at the, the numbers, 22 armor breaks for the Chorfs. Yeah. And no damage, no real damage at all. I mean, that you don't see that uh, very often. No, no, that's true. And like, six, to be fair, six of them were stuns on on, on fouls. <laughs> like a, a million, a million assists and just did nothing. Yeah, he even did three cars and four kills. Like he did something, but yeah, you would have expected more damage. To be fair, um, you would have expected more damage. Look at that, he made twenty six he... GFIs. <laughs> Passed them all. <laughs> I know he's got balls, but come on. <laughs> um, and yeah, only 60% dodges. Ah, yes, uh, Elliot bought the loaner. 50 -50. Oh, he bought the loaner, yeah. yeah yes, because he doubles. got the skill, so yeah. yeah. I don't know which was a skill, but imagine rolling a double and getting guard or something like that. Or, I mean, any skill is good. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Congratulations, Elliot. Very well played. Uh, commiserations, Creepy. Not very well played, but you know. And also unlucky, you know, let's be honest. Yeah, there were some mistakes. Yes, true. Doors, true. doors open to the vampire, and that's what I see the stories. Vampires can enter in your house unless you open them the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he was obviously, he was super unlucky at 136 to pick up, right? But you've yes. got to smack that strength 5 vamp before you do. Like, you just have to. You have to, but still, it was still very unlucky. Like he only gets punished one in thirty-six times. So, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Um, maybe it's been a bit harsh on him, but I just know he's better than that. That's the thing, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much, Fami, for doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious to have you back in the booth. No worries. No worries. I was uh, couldn't make it the uh, other day because I was doing uh, things with my own sock, not the uh, <laughs> with no. the other. Uh, Commentators. Not the communal I suck. A, no. Yeah, I was at the gym. I was at the gym. <laughs> okay. With my sock, you know, with my gym socks. Yeah, using the gym sock, okay. <laughs> Not mine. GYM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the gymnasium, you know, with my deadlift socks, which are longer. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic!